What's up everybody, it's Jake Gordon here again. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can find winning products fast, primarily for Google Ads, and how you can really get to those six figures, ideally in your second or third month of doing this kind of strategy. Now with this kind of strategy, you only really need one product to hit those kind of six figure numbers. It's good to have two or three, but you know, if you can repeat this process one or two times, you should definitely hit six figures. Um, so we're gonna go over the whole the whole method, the whole kind of like find the product, um, how to structure the ads, the correct bidding, and everything else you're gonna to need to know. So you can take this um, strategy right now and you can go and test this out in your stores pretty much immediately. Um, quick side note, I'll just give you an example of one of my clients right now um, using this exact same strategy. All these sales, so he's just hit his best ever month, just under 40 grand, just came from this same strategy and it's only one product, right? Just pretty much one product. He's got a little side product that's going as well, um, but it's primarily one product. I'll just refresh it because I know a lot of people, you know, thinks there's a lot of screenshots going around there um, and I just want to always make it transparent with you. So, you know, just so you guys know it's not fake. You already know it's not fake, but I want to just show you that it's real. So yeah, the month of August, best ever month, um, really approaching 2K days, which is super nice. And we can show you his growth as well. So for July, um, I think he did 15K, yeah, so just almost 16K. So he's more than doubled his revenue um, just by scaling up using the same kind of strategies. Um, and yeah, we'll just dive right into it right now. So finding winning products, so how'd you do that? So... There's no fancy software you need now. I used to use Ali Shark. I've even used Ecom Hunt as well. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know, you don't need to pay for these software. Um, you know, you can do all this, you know, completely free. And um, there's no fancy trick, right? You just need to think a little bit. Um, you know, spam your competitors, right? So we're going to be using our competitors as an example for this case. Um, like I said, we're doing this primarily. This is a Google, a Google, you know, Google ad strategy, right? So all we're going to do. Um, for example, I've got a product right here right now that I'm looking at um, and I know it's a winning product um, But all you do this is the same strategy, right? So Google is free obviously as you know Just Google the keywords right of the product, right? So LED strips light so obviously we so yeah We see a bunch of products come up now on a quick side note um, This is only going to show if you're in your country, right? Another way what you can do is you can go and I search Let's say if you were in like France, right and you wanted to target USA only you would go and I search and then just type in you know USA and then you would type in LED strip lights because you, if you just Google LED strip lights in your country, you're only going to see the French ads, right? That's the way Google works. So you can use iSearch. That's the way I want to do. And um, that's the way I use as well. Or you can, I guess, change your IP address, right? It's probably a little bit more tricky and probably not what you want to do. Just go on iSearch um, and then change change the country so you can see ads, right? So for example, I'm in UK. I just want to see the UK ads. But let's say if I wanted to see USA ads, I would Google iSearch and then change it to USA and then Google LED strip lights. So step number one is going to be, you know, find the product, right? So find the product you want to sell. Now these dudes are, if we just open the second one real quick, you know, so yeah, so open similar ads that relate to your product you're trying to sell. Now these ads are here for a reason, right? These guys wouldn't be here, you know, if they're not making a good ROI on their investment, you know, on their money they're spending because Google ads, um, it can get a little bit crazy. So I guarantee these dudes are spending at least 500 pounds some days minimum, right? They're not just gonna be burning through 3,500 bucks a month or a week, sorry, just on ads if they're not getting, you know, a good ROI because they're not stupid, right? Nobody's gonna keep, keep the ads. If they're not seeing sales from these ads, they're gonna be off the platform immediately, okay? So we wanna open these ads and what the good thing about Google is this is absolutely free to do. Um, and we wanna see, you know, what these guys are putting for their images, how does the description look? And we want to, that gives us an idea of what we can, you know, use ours on because remember, we just want to copy what's working. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. And the way I've always run my my stores is I've just copied what's working. The same as the, the dude I've gave you there in the um, his 40 grand month, just shy of it. He's just copied what's working, made it a little bit better, and um, changed it about a little bit. And he's just running the simple, the simple Google Ads shopping campaign for that product and you can see the results so we're not trying to reinvent the wheel if we can we want to make it a little bit better but there's nothing wrong with just simply copying right i always try and make it a little bit better but if you're going to copy you'll make sure you're copying something that's working right and obviously we know these ads are working because they wouldn't be here for no reason right so that's step number two step number three is going to you know be observing these people like i said these guys are not stupid right um, but the main one comes, make sure you can source, right? And when I say that, 
make sure it's coming in a reasonable time, but obviously make sure you've got a good margin, right? So this is a perfect example here. We can see again what these dudes are charging. For this one, it's a little bit different because he's offering a lot of variables, right? So he's got a lot of different kind of sizes, right? But that's absolutely fine. We can get these sizes as well. Um, this one, $49.99. And here's another store I found as well. Now I know this store is absolutely killing it for this one. This is the 50 foot one. They're selling it for 50 bucks, right? So that's a USA store, by the way, but I just found it as well. They were running ads for the UK. Um, so yeah, we can see here probably we're going to be selling this for about 50 pound, right? So we want to source it for at least pff, anything below 30 pound. Ideally, 2025 will be, you know, right around, you know, the kind of like where I want to be for most products. So when I say 20 minimum, I like to always try and find 25 30 because it makes me feel a little bit, you know, more comfortable and I can obviously spend more on converting a, com converting a customer, which is, you know, ideal. It beats, you know, having super thin margins and struggling to, you know, get a profit. Okay, so for me, I use a lot of eBay just because they're shipping super fast. So I've actually found this same product that comes with a different couple of sizes, but the one we're looking at right now is the 15 meter one, right? So it's 16.99, okay? So have I got the 20 pound margin? Absolutely, because I can sell this for 50 pound all day. I could even sell this higher, but I'll probably sell this for 49.95 um, and I've got a nice, nice margin. You know what I mean? I've got like, what, 35? 35 margin, 34 margin. So I'm smashing that 20 pound margin, okay? The other thing is, like I said, you wanna be able to source it in a good amount of time. So this is coming pretty much within a week. Um, I think it's eight or nine days pretty much. So it's not 40 days, it could be faster for sure. We can probably find this for faster. Um, we could probably find this within a week, but it's not 40 days, right? It's not 30 days. And the problem with here in the UK, it's taking 30 days for um, shipment to come because they're all from China. This is um, coming from London, which is in the UK. Um, super convenient. The customer's gonna get a UK postcode from Royal Mail. It's not gonna look like a scam, okay? And on a side note, this dude's selling a lot of these, got 99% feedback, um, uh, 767 sold. So this dude's obviously, you know, he's not messing around, he's a good supplier. So this is what I like to see. This is kind of gives me, you know, it makes me sleep at night. I can sleep at night knowing I'm getting a good a good supplier. Another reason, you know, and I hate AliExpress, but if you're going to go down the, the AliExpress route, um, here's here's the same product, right? So, you know, we were going to go for the the 15 meter. Um, like I said, there's no really UK UK. So if I was using China, okay, let's do China. No remote battery. You can see the difference here. 20 to 40 days, right? And it's going to be 40 days. It's 20 is 20 is not coming in 20 days. So it's going to be 40 days. So that's that's a month and a bit. Um, and yeah, it's not ideal. Um, I can get it in seven and 15 days, but I'm paying, you know, my profit margin's gone just on shipping. So you can see the problem here if you're in the UK. If you're in the USA, I'm sure this would work. Um, I can't deliver to the UK from USA, but if you're obviously selling in the USA, then you can use AliExpress. AliExpress is still fine to use, but the pro I'm in UK, right? So it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, you can find it 99% of the times on eBay at a good price. So like I said, that's gonna be step number Step number three, I think. So yeah, so make sure you can source it at the 20 pound margin. Um, and obviously make sure it's coming ideally within 10 days. That's my kind of rule of thumb, okay? So once we have that, how do we test? So the example I'm gonna give you is like I said, my client, he's just a simple general store. Um, nothing, nothing fancy about it. So we're using shopping ads because, you know, these are shopping ads. Now on a side note as well, we don't wanna do search ads. A lot of people start with, you know, search ads. You don't want to do search ads off the bat, but you want to do shopping ads so you can find the keywords at work and then take those keywords to make search ads. But so we're just going to look at search, uh, shopping ads because that's where we click the products from, right? So people always ask, you know, what's your bid? So in my rule of thumb, I always start super low, round about 0 0.20, that's 20 pence by the way. Everything I say is in pence, you know, convert it to USD if you want to do the math, times it by 1.25. So I usually start about 0 0.25 to be honest, um, sometimes I go higher, but I always start super low and if I need, if I want it to go faster, sometimes I go up to 0 0.40. That's my absolute max, you don't need to pay any more. I might pay more if I'm doing like a high, high ticket product, but you know, primarily times I'm not, I'm usually sticking around 20, 30 pound margin. So. I always start about 0 0.25. You can adjust it, um, but that's where you want to be. Make sure the max CPC is checked because if you don't take that little box, that's where Google can wrench in. You can wake up with like, you know, 200, 300 pound in ad spend and <laughs> gone just because you didn't tick that box. So don't start with enhance, it's too slow. You know, save this for scaling. So always start with max CPC. It's going to, it's going to get clicks faster and when you've got a brand new campaign, it's usually super slow for the first one or two weeks. So always start with max 
CPC and like I said, you know, do 0 0.20 to 0 0.40, whatever you wanna do. So once you get the three profitable sales, for example, on this product, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it to an SPC. And all that means is a single product campaign because it gives us more control with the keywords and then we can, you know, this is kind of beginning phase two. Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna increase um, that bid. So say if you had 0 0.30, you're gonna just increase it by one pence. So you're gonna go 0 0.31 for the general test and make sure it's high priority because obviously you're doing well. We still want to test in the all products test campaign other products, but with this one, we want to give it more high, high priority because it's, you know, it's in phase two, it's got us three profitable sales and we can really start, you know, beginning, beginning uh, the scaling phase. So just put it up a penny and just put it on high priority. That's all you want to do. Now, a lot of people also say is, Jake, why don't you test like five countries like a lot of people talk about in, you know, Facebook, like the top five tier countries. Like you don't need to do this, right? For me, I've only ever tested to UK and like I'm doing, you know, good months as you guys know from previous previous videos. Um, you don't need to do five countries. You can if you want, but I don't love it um, just because there's more than enough people and you know, UK, USA to hit six, seven figures, right? And you you don't need any more than that. Like that's, that's fine. <laughs> it's just too much, too complicated if you're doing five countries. You can add other countries, but really after 100 sales in that product, um, and that's, that's, you know, you can add another country, but you know, there's gonna be search ads you're gonna do first, is pro you're probably gonna to go to Bing as well. So Bing UK as well, or Bing US if you're testing USA. There's loads of other stuff you wanna do before you, you know, add another country. That's really the last step. And, um, you know, that's when you can really turn on, you know, turn on the madness, but there's loads of stuff you guys probably haven't done to even think about testing another country. Like I said, like search ads, um, like Bing, cause Bing's, Bing works the exact same. Um, is Google and um, it's just a search search engine and nobody talks about this like there's Google but there's also Bing right so you put you can put your same product that's doing well in here put it on Bing um, and start running that as well so you're really miles away from adding a new a new country there's loads of steps you want to do and um, before adding a new country so in a recap that's how you find winning products you know primarily on Google super step by step um, and yeah dude you can try this product right today you know there's you know loads of possibilities you can just type in any keywords on google it's going to pop up some more shopping ads then go through the step of sourcing it clicking on the stores um, and making sure it's coming in a reasonable time making sure you've got your 20 pound minimum margin and then just keep doing that and doing that and putting it all in this general test campaign eventually you know you're going to get spcs 100 percent what a lot of people do is they quit too fast man like it's like going to the gym you know, you're not gonna get like big biceps, big chest. <laughs> and if you're going to the gym for a month and then quitting, right? It's, it's months and months in progress, watching videos, you know, buying courses. Like I still buy courses today um, of people that are way higher than me, even people that are lower than me because there's always a golden nugget that I can get. So buy courses, I don't have a course, um, but buy courses, um, watch YouTube videos, watch my channel, you know, watch other people's channel and um, keep learning, keep learning, keep repeating the process, keep testing products. Because eventually you're only one product away from you know changing your life. I promise you. It happened to me. It's happened to this client up here that I've already showed you. It's happened to other clients. It's you know just personal of mine. And it's happened to loads of other people that just you know don't even post about their success. I just see it all the time on Facebook. Um, people getting you know rich as hell with drop shipping, and it's never going to die. Like drop shipping as well will never die. People say that all the time. Drop shipping is going to die as long as you're adapting. Um, the old drop shipping will die, right? But you know, the new drop shipping, it's not gonna die. But anyways, dudes, that's it for this video. I hope you got some value. Like I said, there's a lot of you dudes not subscribed, so I would appreciate the subscribe. I'd appreciate you liking it. it helps me out for future videos. Um, and yeah, dudes, I'll see you in the next video and peace out. Woo!